This is Mac OS Ken. Updates for almost everything. A new light new thing in Apple's refurbished store. And a couple of exciting trailers for Apple TV+. Plus. It is Tuesday, the 17th of May, 2022. I'm Ken Ray, and this is news from Mac OS Ken. Brought to you by yours truly and sponsored by Upstart. Fair and fast personal loans. Learn more and check your rate at upstart.com slash macOSCan. This show is also sponsored by Simply Safe, the right way to protect your home. Yes, they're a great way to protect your home against prowlers, but people aren't the only thing that can do damage. Fire, flooding, carbon monoxide... They've even got a temperature sensor that triggers an alarm if your home drops below 41 degrees Fahrenheit so you can prevent pipes from freezing or bursting. You can also set an upper temperature limit to protect things like pets, paintings, and plants. And it's got the same great monitoring that's keeping an eye out for bad guys. Simply Safe notifies you the moment there's an alarm, letting you deal with issues before they become damage. And all of it is super simple to get going. I had my base station, sensors, and keypad up and running in well under an hour. Whole home protection. That's simply safe. You can customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes at simplysafe.com slash macOSCan. Go today and claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off with interactive monitoring. S-I-M-P-L-I. Go to simplysafe.com slash macOSCan. Monday was fun day this week. Assuming your idea of fun is getting updates for almost all your Apple stuff, because, yeah... Everything still supported by Apple except for AirTag and Apple Pencil seems to have been updated on Monday. Let's dive in, shall we? Starting with the phone, the phone without the phone, and the great big phone without the phone, Apple on Monday released iOS and iPadOS 15.5 for iPhone, iPad, and uh, iPod Touch. Apple's notes aren't overly descriptive. Mac Rumors has those saying iOS 15.5 includes the following improvements and bug fixes. Wallet now enables Apple Cash customers to send and request money from their Apple Cash card. Apple Podcasts includes a new setting to limit episodes stored on your iPhone and automatically delete older ones. And it fixes an issue where home automations triggered by people arriving or leaving may fail. Oops. The notes also say that some features may not be available for all regions or on all Apple devices. Ain't that the way? It also links to security fixes, which we will hit in a bit. Now, one can debate which of the few updates was the most important. One of the ones in the running was not mentioned in Apple's U.S. notes. That's because the U.S. already had it. A piece from 9 to 5 Max says the iOS 15.5 update fires up communication safety and messages for four new regions. With that feature enabled, the piece says the Messages app can detect if a child receives or is trying to send a photo with nudity. If the child receives an inappropriate photo, the app automatically blurs the image. Although the child can choose to view the photo, doing so will show guidance and age-appropriate resources to help them make a safe choice. If that only sort of rings a bell, it's because another bell was louder. Announced last fall as part of Apple's expanded protections for children, communication safety in messages met with some public resistance, though not nearly the level of pushback seen around Apple's CSAM detection plans, which are still very much a thing. Until yesterday's update, communication safety in messages was only available in the U.S., with the arrival of iOS 15.5, the option has also turned up in Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and the UK. 
Moving now to Monterey. Another piece from Mac Rumors says Apple on Monday released Mac OS 12.4. Its release marks a sort of graduation day for a couple of features. First, the Monterey update adds support for Apple Studio Display's 15.5 firmware. This should mark the last time that those two have to walk hand in hand. Apple indicated last week that with the release of Mac OS 12.4, Studio Display Firmware 15.5 would be available as its own update. A separate piece from Mac Rumors on the Studio Display update specifically has Apple indicating that the firmware refines camera tuning, offering improved noise reduction, contrast, and framing. Testing during the beta phase showed marked improvement from the display's initial release, according to the report. Also seeing a graduation of sorts, the Mac Rumors piece says with the arrival of Mac OS 12.4 and iPad OS 15.5, Universal Control is no longer in beta. It is now an official feature that Apple has deemed issue-free, and the beta labeling has been removed. Outside of the graduating class, the piece says the podcast app for Mac OS got the same storage management update that the iOS and iPad OS apps got. And I mentioned security fixes earlier. A lot of those for computers of various form factors. Apple's security site lists 27 security issues addressed for the iOS and iPad OS updates. The Mac OS Monterey update brings 53 or 54 security fixes. Sorry, I lost count. As it often does, the Cupertino company also addressed vulnerabilities for machines that can't or won't make the move to Monterey. A stroll through Apple's security site indicates 40 security issues hit for macOS Big Sur 11.6.6 and 32 issues squished in security update 2022-004 Catalina, both of which were released on Monday. Not much new in watchOS 8.6. As had been expected, a piece from Mac Rumors says the latest OS for Apple's chronometer activates the ECG app in Mexico for Apple Watch Series 4 or later. It also adds support for irregular heart rhythm notifications on the same watches in the same country. In addition, Apple lists 18 security fixes for the update. Not sure whether it's a good sign or a bad sign, but a security update for a watch is definitely a sign of the future. What's new in tvOS 15.5? Poke through and see for yourself. Which is a mildly impolite way of saying, nobody seems to know. A piece from Mac Rumors says updates for Apple TV HD and Apple TV 4K are typically more minor in scale, focusing on under-the-hood bug fixes, performance updates, and small tweaks rather than major outward-facing changes. There are no detailed release notes, though there are security fixes. Apple's security page for the update shows 20 issues addressed in the tvOS 15.5 update. There is even less info on HomePod software 15.5 than there is on its tvOS counterpart. While one assumes it does do something, it also features no detailed release notes. And since it's sort of lumped in with the iOS, iPadOS updates, there are no separate security notes for that one. It goes without saying, but say it I will, all of the updates are free... Each is available through settings on their respective machines, except for the HomePod update. HomePod should update automatically, though if patience is not your thing, you can force the update in the Home app on an associated iOS or iPad OS device. Something new in Apple's refurbished store. Yes, that's kind of oxymoronic, but still. iDownload blog says 2020's fourth-generation iPad Air has turned up among Apple's like-new offerings. As of the site's writing, there were several color options available, including blue, rose gold, silver, sky blue, and space gray. Both 64GB and 256GB capacities were available, but the only choice you couldn't make was Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi Plus Cellular. Offerings on introduction were Wi-Fi only. 
As with the rest of Apple's refurbs, the piece as the fourth-gen iPad Airs come with new outer casings, a new battery, genuine Apple part replacements if necessary, and a one-year warranty. Plus, they'll throw in a thorough cleaning at no additional cost. Actually, the cost is less. iDownload blog says buyers can save between 80 and 100 bucks depending on the model purchased. You can get a gander at what's available at apple.com slash shop slash refurbished. More news in a moment, but first a word from Upstart. Fair and fast personal loans. Saying goodbye to high-interest credit card debt is one of the first steps toward financial independence. But high interest can make it difficult to say goodbye. That's where Upstart comes in. Personal loans powered by Upstart can help you pay down high-interest debt with simple and easy-to-understand payment terms. And the whole thing happens online. You can check your rate in minutes for loans between $1,000 to $50,000 without impacting your credit score. And they look at more than just your credit score, factoring in income, employment, and other information provided in your loan application to find you a smarter rate for your loan. Join the 1.8 million people Upstart has helped on the way to financial freedom. Don't wait and check your rate today at upstart.com slash macOS Ken. U-P-S-T-A-R-T. That's upstart.com slash macOS Ken to check your rate today. Don't forget to use my URL to let them know I sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application go to upstart.com slash macOS Ken. Still more kid stuff coming for Apple TV+. Plus. After the slate of children's shows about which I told you yesterday, news of yet another. Apple TV Plus issued a press release Monday announcing the kids and family animated series Eva the Owlet, Based on the children's book series Owl Diaries, the release says Eva the Owlet stars Eva, a creative, cheeky owlet who lives next door to her best friend Lucy in the woodland world of Tree Toppington. With big ideas and an even bigger personality, Eva goes on high-flying adventures, expressing herself in her journal along the way. Built by Apple as part of its Changemakers initiative, meant to create inspiring and enriching kids' original series, no word in the release on when the series will debut. A highly anticipated Apple TV Plus film has gotten a bit of a tease. According to a piece from the Mac Observer, the Cupertino streamer released a teaser trailer for the Skydance animation film Luck late last week. A past description of the film said luck centers around the unluckiest girl in the world who, after stumbling upon the never-before-seen world of good and bad luck, must join together with magical creatures to uncover a force more powerful than even luck itself. While the teaser only sets the premise, TMO says it does give viewers their first real look at the movie's animation style. It also hints at the film's sense of humor voice talent to include Eva Noblezada, Whoopi Goldberg, Jane Fonda, and Simon Pegg. Luck hits Apple TV Plus on Friday, the 5th of August. You can catch the teaser now on YouTube. There's another big name headed to the after party. Deadline says John Cho is joining the show's second season. A sort of off-kilter whodunit the after party features a detective, played by Tiffany Haddish, taking statements from suspects in the murder, with each of their tellings presented in styles of various film genres. Season 1 was set after a high school reunion. Season 2 will be set after a wedding. Cho you may know from the Harold and Kumar movies, the Netflix live-action adaptation of Cowboy Bebop, and the most recent Star Trek films. Regarding his Apple gig, Deadline says Cho, who has been tapped as a series regular, joins fellow new cast members Elizabeth Perkins, Zach Woods, 
Paul Walter Hauser, Poppy Liu, Anna Conkley, Jack Whitehall, Ken Jeong, and Vivian Wu, as well as returning stars Tiffany Haddish, Sam Richardson, and Zoe Chow. We know nothing about Cho's character, except that his name is Ulysses. The rest is a mystery, which works great for a mystery. No word on when season two will hit Apple TV+. And finally today, Apple TV Plus has released a trailer for For All Mankind Season 3. Set in an alternate history where the Soviet Union won the space race, TechCrunch says the show's third season takes viewers to the early 1990s as Russia and the U.S. target manned missions to Mars. Apple TV Plus viewers can see the Season 3 premiere on Friday, the 10th of June. Between now and then... You can catch the trailer on YouTube. Mac OS Ken, brought to you by me and sponsored by Simply Safe. Get a free indoor security camera plus 20% off with interactive monitoring at simplysafe.com slash macOS Ken. This show is also sponsored by Upstart, fair and fast personal loans. Learn more and check your rate at upstart.com slash macOSCan. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media. Online at backbeatmedia.com. You can reach me a couple of ways. Info at macOSCan.com or call 716-780-4080. Until next time, that is news from Mac OS Ken. I'm Ken Ray. Ciao.